and we started all the way down there. Just to have a logical idea how are the houses, how are the buildings in Inca time. We found like that one, without a triangular shape. Unfortunately, the roots of the plant, the herbs, destroy the walls. Huh? Wow. But that is originally from the Inca time. Also, that one, the terraces, after we are going to talk about the terraces, what does it mean? The Agricultural terrace. places, okay. after we are going to see that. Are these rocks original? Yeah. Wow. And this this trail is going on to the top from here to the top around 10 to 15 minutes walking okay yeah we are going to stop in the way to take a rest and to explain something and after we have to be until the top 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 of everything in order to enjoy better okay. okay this trail was built in 1995 the oh, trail wow. is not original we made okay. we made this trail course, right? okay now it's go to the, to the upper part and after the end is in the low part could you see the people Yes. Oh, so we go, we go around and come back this way. Okay. Wow. This is no flower. Like a green. Yes. That is named angel trumpet. Angel trumpet. Angel right. trumpet. I was wondering what that was. In Machu Picchu, in the Aguas the Sound, you're going to find a lot of that. Okay. And you are okay. going to smell a lot of the flowers. You are going to sleep. Really? Oh! Wow. In Inca's time, they mix it with some other kind of plants, with kind of other beverage, in order to drink and hallucinate it. And this is fern. I'm not sure for you. Fern, do you know? Fern, yes. Yeah? Like the small one? Yep. Yeah. We have oh, a kind. Yeah. These uh, plants yeah. were around with the dinosaurs, correct? Exactly. Yes. When, when this world was created, the, the, in, the, in the world, just we have this kind of plants, ferns, okay? Ferns, the original plants. Yeah, the original plant. After we have male and female, and with seeds, something like that. But this is the tree, historically. Wow. Eh? Is Fern. this um, sap? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Wow. It's jiggly. It's jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we are going up a lesser traveled path. As our guide just explained to us, we're fortunate enough to just be us three. So um, we're very grateful right now for this private tour. Right. Oh man. Just for you. Because many years ago, I think 30, 40 years ago, we didn't have enough archeologists in order to make the studies. Hmm. But nowadays we have many evidences because we found ceramics, textiles, bones, and that is good information. Why the Incas built the cities yeah. in some places? Why up here? Yeah. Exactly. Now, now I'm going to explain you everything in the top. Okay. You're going to see everything and you're going to have an idea why they decided to build wow. this beautiful city in this inaccessible place. Okay? Inaccessible. First, now we are going to see the Inca Trail. We are going to walk this original Inca Trail. People that are coming walking. Wow. Of course, after the pandemic, it's not possible to walk until the top. Remember, all the trails came from Costco, Cusco. What mm. does it mean, Costco? Do you know? No. Naval. Capital. Naval. Naval. Oh, of the Inca okay, world. okay. That means Costco. Costco. But the Spaniards, they didn't listen very well the Inca, the Quechua language, the Inca language. They changed it to Cusco. And okay. nowadays we are calling Cusco. Cusco was the capital. From Cusco came the trails in the four cardinal points. Wow. Mm. One of them is going to the south, north, east, west, something like that. And the Inca culture expanded around to South America, six countries now. Ecuador, Colombia to the north, Peru, Bolivia to well, the Was middle. Cusco the main Inca city? Exactly. Wow. The capital, exactly. The capital, okay. Yeah? And the Incas had communication system, runners messengers Ooh. young people located every five to ten kilometers running gave the information to the other one and connecting one small town to a small town officially we are so this is this is the official inca trail right here wow wow 
Did you listen about the hotel? In the entrance to Machu Picchu? There is one hotel, Belmont Santuary Lodge. Wow. That is the only one. The, the wall, the terrace, the trails, everything. without wasting the agricultural areas right ah because this was farming yeah wow Man, all Amazing. the terraces farming agricultural wow. experimental centers microclimate why in the top windy colder and drier in the low part no windy hotter humidity yes oh, green houses green this kind houses of steps, this kind of wow. steps we are using nowadays in the houses but like this one Mm -hmm. a spiral yeah saving some saving space house, right? wow wow floating steps remember <laughs> floating steps and the morning was a little foggy eh? a little rain also you know this is beautiful i love seeing the fog yeah moving it's so some beautiful magic. yeah it's magic you're yeah. right in cusco or cusco just leave it the high society nobility king priests priestesses astronomers Queen, something like that. Yes. In Cusco, remember, perfect. But if you are going to see these buildings, this kind of style of buildings, non carved stones perfectly, joined with mud mortar, mainly in the regular houses, common houses for the local people. For the commoners. Commoners. Okay. okay. Or useful houses. Look at many opening doors, many opening windows. Why they made that like that? because I think it will be colder during the night. That is the idea. Now with the technology, we are going to preserve the product for a long time with the freezers. The freezers, Free, right? okay. In the Inca's time, no freezers. Mm -hmm. How you are going to preserve the food for a long time? With a ventilation. Many opening doors, many opening windows, the air is going to in and out. A lot of ventilation, you are going to preserve it for a, low, a lot of time. Wow. This was the storage houses. Remember when we are going to be here in any place, if you are going to see many opening doors, many opening windows, freezers, storage houses. If you are going to see the houses with one or two entrance and blind windows, homes in order to sleep, to, to stay during the day, during the night, okay? But if you want to preserve the product for a long time, the best way is dry, deshydrated, like a coca, dry coca leaves, mm. dry potato, dry corn or maize, or the dry meat. Okay. Salty meat. Do you know the name? Salty uh, meat? Uh, um, cure. Beef jerky. Oh. Beef jerky. <laughs> of course. Yeah. In Quechua language, <laughs> is the real name. Charki is for us. But Charki. you are talking jerky. jerky. Beef jerky. Okay. Salty meat. The ancient technology. Salted dried meat. Exactly. Okay. It's still now the ancient technology we are wow. using. We're still, still using, using our that. Life, right? Wow. Wow. And remember, this is a storage. Many opening doors, many opening windows, a storage house. That is the main information. There it is, the classic picture. Do we have uh, five, ten minutes here? Yeah. I think five. After we are going to go to the other side, that is a good place. It's very small, many groups are going to come. So I should take some pictures. Da, 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 da. Some group, some group. Here for us. Wow. <laughs> oh, just for us. <laughs> oh, we're so special. <laughs> we are going to leave our backpack over there and you are going to have to take some pictures, okay? Okay. Take some take some minutes because no people now. Yes. After the people are going to come, maybe you're not you are not going to take good pictures. Okay. Okay? Leave your backpack here. This is our area, okay? This is our circle. Yeah, exactly. All Go right. over there. But remember, not take out, okay? Ah. Uh. There are many securities. I'm going to help you in some minutes with some pictures, but please enjoy. Oh, uh, this is uh, amazing. Yeah, all right. Enjoy, please. I'm so glad we get so much time up here. I know, me too. 
So the security here at Machu Picchu is extremely strict. Um, Nicole and I couldn't even do this to take a picture. They were just yelling at us, which of course is ridiculous because we're up here on the top of a fucking mountain with a bunch of open air, but you know, that's the new world we live in now. This area would normally be flooded with hundreds of people. But because of pandemic and because of 30% capacity, we kind of have it all to ourselves. There's only, there's barely anybody here right now, which is in a weird way, awesome. I have personally been looking forward to this for over a decade. Ever since I had a passion for archeology, span I'm finally here. I wish I didn't have to wear the mask, but it's better than not being here. <laughs> not too peach you. Remember, in July, it's dry season. Mm -hmm. The river is very small. Ah, right, right, right. right. It was very easy to cross the river. Eh? Unfortunately, mostly of the archaeological evidence he brought to the United States now are located in the Yale University National Geographic and the Kodak, the pictures. In some cases, he found ceramics, textiles, and bones of the humans. Wow. The skins. Why? Because the humidity, the rain, destroyed the skins of the humans. Mm -hmm. eh? When the Incas were living in this place. They were here only 500 years ago? Yeah. Wow. This is the hypothetical picture. Hypothetical picture, okay. Of how much picture. Taking advantage of the houses, the temples, everything that we are going to visit inside, wow. we designed this. I told you, all the houses we touch roof in the Inca's time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are missing every five to seven years, mm -hmm. destroyed with the rain. Mm -hmm. Right. But like, uh, Machu Picchu was like this. The Incas split the city in two sectors. Now we are in this area. Remember, the picture is from here to that side. We are in this area. We are right here looking. Exactly. Right. To okay, side. okay. The agricultural area. We're in the agriculture area. Yeah, we are oh, now in the agricultural man. area. And after the wall that we are going to pass after, urban religious, just houses, temple, palaces. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. First, we are going to talk about the agricultural area. Remember, terraces, three main functions. First, experimental centers. I told you, greenhouses. Mm -hmm. Upper part, windy. Colder, drier. Low part, no windy, hotter, and humidity. The second function of the terraces, drainage system. Everything is rainy, and we are not going to find here water. Why? Because inside these terraces, the archaeologists found two or three meters inside. Drains. Uh, wow. Big stones, the smallest stones, and gravel or sand. Okay. In the upper part, mainly um, uh, fertilized soil. For that reason, we need to so the they system. built this whole... Exactly. For that reason, we are going to see the terraces like two or three meters. Wow. So they, they, they stack sto soil. Exactly. And inside drain a system. And the water is going to enter between the layers like a filter in galleries. And the ground channels are going to the bottom. Drain a system. And the third function of the terraces, retention walls. You are not going to find any building like this one. No. No. You are going to find leaning inside. Right. right. Or else. Many ancient cultures, uh, for the earthquake, right. Many ancient cultures in the world built pyramids. Mm -hmm. Mayas, Aztec, the Egyptians. Why? Resist better the earthquake. They're exactly. still standing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to be like this one, if you're going to touch me, I'm going to fall down. Easy. <laughs> right, right. If I'm going to be like this. Nope. Right. Very strong. Yeah. That is the reason why they built in the top of the mountains with the triangular shape and the walls leaning inside. I wonder if the ancients actually, they, they figured that out just by standing like this. It's true. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Many ancient cultures built pyramids in order to resist better the wow. earthquake. Okay? Inside the city, after, we are going to be here in this green area, in the, in the, around this green area, this was the amphitheater, a stadium, coliseum, meeting point. Oh, in order okay. to socialize, they created some space to socialize in dancing, playing music, singing, something like that. And also over there, we are going to listen to the acoustic 
echo. Oh, Remember, cool. Nothing of that, like amplification. Like an amphitheater, yeah. Exactly awesome. in this place, they took advantage just the echo acoustic, okay? When we are going to visit the temple, remember, we are going to find beautiful style. That is the way how you are going to recognize nobility houses or temples. Ah. If you are going to find rustic or rustic style, non carpet stone perfectly, joined with mud mortar, regular houses for the population. The temples are located near the middle part, okay? Ah. Okay. Why did Incas build the cities in the top of the mountains? First function, religious purpose. Yes. Mm. Believe it to be near to the heaven. They could see better sun, moon, stars, constellations, and the mountains. Mm -hmm. Remember, they consider like a father, the Inti Taita, sun father, and the mountains, Pachamama. Pachamama. Do you know what, do you know what does mean Pachamama? Pachamama. That's like Earth the mother. Earth, Earth mother. mother. Exactly. Earth mother, yes. That is the reason why they built everything in the top, because you are going to see everything around you. The second function, as I told you, astronomy. When you're going to be at the top, you are going to see better the Milky Way, the cosmos, and you are going to have good astronomy and solar calendar. Mm. The Incas developed mainly in the, in the agriculture. You are going to find in Cusco many varieties of potato, corn, maize, something like that, thanks to the astronomy. If you don't have any information when to harvest, when to sow, impossible to have a lot of products. Right. That is the reason why the Incas built in the top, because the Incas saw everything. We are going to see, remember, sun over there, sun over there, summer, winter solstice, and also we are going to see inside Machu Picchu one constellation named Southern Cross Constellation. This constellation is pointed to the four cardinal points. One is pointed to the east, west, south, and north. That is exactly why the Incas <coughs> build the cities in the southern. Ah. Of course, in some cases, protection. Again, yes, defense. Some, exactly. Defense, yes. Again, some other tribes. Remember, in the jungle, still now we have how, no contact people. How big was the Inca Empire? The Incas expanded from Cusco to six countries now Ecuador, Colombia to the north, near to Central America, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Chile. Chile. That was a so <laughs> big So empire. big. How, do you know how long their empire lasted? The Inca, like Inca culture, they founded 1,000 after Christ. Okay. okay. And the Spanish arrived 1,000 and um, okay. 1,053. Okay? 1,053 after Inca Christ. Five, okay. 500 years they spent in order to make everything. It lasted just 500. And remember, for the history, it's a young culture because it was just 500 years to our time. So now it is time after another awesome explanation by our, our amazing tour guide. It is time to go down into the actual city to get explained some more awesome things. So high. Right. <laughs> wow. They never transported the stones. Look at the stones over there. After I'm going to explain you how they carry it, how they broke it. But they found the stones in the same place. Could you see the mountains that is around this area? Yes. Everyone are Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. White and grey granite. In that case, they never transported the stones from any places. They found the stones in the same place. Wow. And the main stone quarry, the mine of stones, now we are going to find in the Inca city. Okay. Could you imagine how many people died building a Picchu over there? I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine yeah, exactly. how many people died, yeah. It's impossible to know, but of course many people died. Yes, yes. If you are going to have a little mistake, fell down, game over. Oh, <laughs> game over. <laughs> <laughs> it still now is working. The water is going under the house with the thatch roof. Could you see the house with the roof with the grass? Yes. That is the first water fountain. Could you see to the right side to the house? Round building? Yeah. Yes. Only circular building? Yes. Look at everyone are rectangular square rooms. That is the only circular. That is for the sun. The sun. I told you one opening window facing to that side, right? In the round shape, there is one opening window facing wow. to the summer. After, when we are going to be closer to the temple, oh, we are going to see the that to the faces the, oh, the summer solstice. Exactly. The other one we are going to see on the other side after, when that is pointed to the other solstice, winter solstice. Okay. That is the solar calendar. And also look at a stone by a stone, beautiful style. 
The yeah. other buildings just rustic, rustic. Ah, I see, I see. That's the difference. Okay. Temples with a beautiful style. And we started all the way down there. The stones that the Incas used to build this city were already here. And uh, our tour guide is explaining that many Incas must have died building this place. I mean, of course, there's no way to know how many exactly, but you have to assume because one slip, it's game over. And uh, it's just very humbling. It's just, it, it uh, makes me respect the Incas because the, the, the effort, the difficulty they went through to, to build this place, it's just amazing. I told you that the, that the city was split. They divided in two sectors, urban religious yeah. and the agricultural sector, right? Now, officially, we are going to finish the agricultural area, and after we are going to enter to the house temple palace. Mm -hmm. That main gate, the main entrance, is, is named Yachtapunku. What does it mean? Yachtapunku. Yachta means town. Punku means door. That Puma Punku is where we are going to find in the way. Okay. Like a okay. control point for the travelers. Okay? okay? But this is just a control or something like that in order to enter to the city. Wow. We are in the city now. We don't know exactly why the Incas put this here, but it is hypothetical, hypothesized that it was some sort of door or something. There was definitely was some sort of function um, to this. Maybe to put a rope around and that stone has a hole in it. And there's another one on the other side of the door. Amazing. Now when we are going to be walking inside the city, just we are going to find narrow path, narrow streets. Because in the Inca's time, no wheels. They right. didn't knew. They didn't know about wheels. Okay. No, no any transportation, something like that. Remember, the horses came with the spanners. In the Inca's ah, time, ah, horses they, were new. Exactly. Okay, okay. The Incas took advantage just the llama, and the llama, the llama just carried around thirty kilos. Okay. In that case, you don't need very very wide streets. Just right. Narrow. Right. Just for the people. Just part for the people. That okay? makes sense. And some stones at the bottom, remember, unfortunately destroy it. We don't know the real position of the stones. Just we have to collect it right. and put near to the walls. Because it's World Heritage Site. Exactly. Double frame, double angle, double jump. That means that you are going to the main place. Just we are going to find this double that double frame. Oh, okay. Of course, the entrance to this area was not this, this way. Mm -hmm. Was this. Oh. We are protecting because we are damaging that stones. Yes, right. yes, okay, I see. Them. We have many. I series, see. Okay? But this was the main entrance to this or the religious area. So this, this, the square and the stones right here indicate it was the entrance going this way into the main area. Fascinating. Things on these stones are archaeologists recording the original position of these walls. And then if it gets destroyed over time, they can successfully restore it like a puzzle because they know with their number and letter system where every rock goes. Open windows for ventilation, blind windows, um, uh, an ancient closet. So we have here the Temple of the Sun where that large window faces the winter solstice. And that large window faces the summer solstice, which is the, um, the sun gate, the sun gates. You can't see it because of the fog, but there is a V in the mountain right where the sun would be during the summer solstice, December 21st. So these cylindrical pegs coming out of the wall was to fasten the thatch roofing around so they can tie it and secure it to the building. Look at that circle, yep. Wow, they must have carved stone on stone because they didn't have metal at the time. Wow.
<laughs> now we can see one house, home. This is a home. Right. Could you see the difference? Blind windows. Yes. Remember, opening windows is storage houses. The houses they took advantage just to sleep, not to stay during the day. Because in the Inca's time, no TV, no Wi Fi. During the days, just working outside. Yeah. They wake up in the morning, 4 4 30 in the morning. And they are going to begin the day very early because if you're going to wake up 8 9. They put every 5 centimeters, something like that. And after they soak it with water, and this is going to expand and broke it like this. Look, could you see? Wow. Oh, wow. That's okay. the evidence right yeah. there. And I told you, they never knew iron as a metal. Mm -hmm. It's still as a metal, but they took advantage of this. For us, it's named hematite. Hematite. Iron as a mineral and some other chisel, something like that. Okay? Uh, it's to, iron as a mineral before it's, before before it's processed metal, as right. metal. Okay, and this okay. Is exactly. I have one here. Wow. Look at this. This is a stone. But look at, look at here, look at here. What? <laughs> this is ah. magnetic. Okay. Look at the local stone. Granite without iron. Yep. It's impossible. But this is and iron. Of course, this is heavier than this one. Put your hand like this one. You're going to feel one to other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> heavier than the other one. Wow. In that case, they took yeah, the that in order to harvest it. Broke it. This so one. this is yeah. iron before it's processed. Exactly. As a mineral. Wow. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> that is the passion fruit. So we call this passion fruit in the right. West. Granadilla. But it's granadilla. Right. Granadilla. Okay. That is avocado tree. That's the small one. Oh, wow. Avocado tree. Okay. Ah, okay. But the famous plant is this one. Coca leaves. The coca leaf. Represented by the puma. Mm -hmm. Represented by the condor. Condor. That is the tree. The snake, the puma, and the condor. Right. Oh man. Trinity. The trilogy. Trinity. Right. Trinity. All the all the so many cultures have trinities. Exactly. Yeah. It's so complicated yes. to know how. But everyone has the trinity. So archaeologists have deduced the three windows indicate the three the worlds. The lower world, the present world, and the upper world. The world of death, the human world here, and the world of the gods. Represented by the snake, the puma, and the condor. Here is an indentation. It was most likely a long stone or a piece of wood to thatch over for the roof. This, is a this was a very sacred place. It still is a very sacred place. Archaeologists know because of this table, it was a very sacred place. You can also tell by the almost perfect square stone architecture. Of course, we don't know exactly how they got that those stones so perfectly square. The commonly agreed upon theory, a lot of rock hitting and a lot of patience. And that's where they would put their idols and relics. If you want to see the four cardinal poem, you have to be deeper. Ah. Right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Here we have this one with these stars. That if you're going to join with the lines, you have the cross. This is pointed to the east, west, south, and north. And the Incas represented this constellation like this. Wow. That is located here. Wow. In that case, this is pointed to the east, west, south, and north. This was the compass in the Inca's time. 
Wow. Thanks to that constellation being as you know the four triangle points, as I told you, one of the reasons why they built something in the top is in order to see better than you. They never transported any stone for any place, they found the stones in the same place. In that case, they, they, they carved it and look at the table in both sides. Right. That means that they made some ritual ceremonies to the Southern Cross constellation. I've seen all the videos and all the pictures on the internet, but being here for yourself is it's a, it's something else. <sighs> Unbelievable. We were over there in the top top top. Right. No shadow. No shadow. So you know it's, it's like midday. Okay? Right. My body is like a sundial. According to my shadow, I know in the day, in the, the part of the day that we are. And they never transported the stones. Remember, they found this stone, the same Rocky Mountain, the same in situ rock. Just they carved it and they designed it, something like that, like an altar and like the protuberance. Hmm? Wow. So, altar and sundial. A drainage system all throughout the city. All throughout the city, these drainage systems. Yama. Yama, yama. Yama, yama. In the near to Cusco, over 3,000 meters. Yeah, but they are adapted to any place nowadays. How do mm -hmm. they get up here? We the local people. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. okay. So these. Just in order for the tourists, in order like attraction for the tourists. Ah, okay. Now they are working. But now they're working. Yes, they are. So the llamas keep the grass nice and flat. <laughs> La llama mower. Right here would be um, that's hypothesized. The nobility would talk to the commoners down here, and which is probably a, an arena of sports and music and you know whatever you can think of. And this is the perfect area to speak to everyone else because of the acoustics. So our tour guide just explained Machu Picchu is is astronomical. It is um, hydraulic. It is also acoustic. There are many advanced scientific properties about here. So, and it's like being here, I realize why this place is so significant and so important. This is where the nobility hypothetically would speak to the commoners. I am standing where someone from the royal family would speak to everyone else. What a commanding view. Here we have another waterway, more drainage. And here is new mortar. Um, every year they have to add a few centimeters to keep it um, preserved. So this is not original, this is new. Ooh, yeah. Check out that staircase. Ooh. <laughs> Good lawnmower. <laughs> Good lawnmower. Not a bad home to have. Right. Man. He's just sitting there chewing his food. Just like. <laughs> 
So here we have some reconstructed uh, buildings to give us an idea of what it looked like. <clears throat> Fully with the wooden thatched roofs. So that is Huayna Pichu. Um, normally it would be open, but because of COVID it is closed. And archaeologists have determined that because it is way, way at the top, nobody lived there. It must have been for sacred ceremonial purposes, astronomical and astrological and religious purposes. Because it's too cold to live up there. Uh, there's no water up there. It would be just it would just be too difficult to maintain a life up there. So at most people may have gone up there for a day or two at a time to do a ceremony and then they'd come back down. So this is um, hypothesized as the industrial area to, uh, for, uh, for textiles and making other things. Uh, think of this area as kind of like a, a factory where the commoners would come down here and make things. Uh, industrial, it's the industrial area. and the beak of the condor that represent the wing and the other wing of the condor but maybe okay. you must wonder and you're going to tell me maybe this is a condor or maybe this is an eagle because it's similar yes but remember the condor the adult condor has in the neck white color white color feather that represent this ah, ah okay the white color feather in the neck. Wow. In that case, this was the condor in the Inca's time that represent the spiritual world of women. So this is uh, the temple of the condor? Yes. Now it is where you place. have the body of the condor and the wings. So we started way down there. That's the way the bus goes up. <laughs> and we went to the shortcut all the way up to the entrance. Wow. And here we have an excellent view of the terraces used for agriculture. The effort it must have taken to build it. Incredible. Incredible, wow. This looks like another place where they sacrifice. Any extra space they had, they used to grow food. <laughs> and we have front lawns. Here's a drinking fountain. This drain starts all the way up there. Tupanachis Kama Machu Picchu or until we see you the next time. Tupanachis Kama Machu Picchu. I hope you have enjoyed that as much as I did. I got emotional, really emotional there at the end. This is a very magical time for me and Nicole. I feel like there's a big relief off of my emotions and my conscience of finally getting to Machu Picchu.